YouTube and welcome to our 61st Unity 3D tutorial. So last tutorial we got rid of all our models which was quite devastating but then we did these and I showed you how to use the hero thing I've done. Um, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is sh I'll show you how to edit some of the textures on here so it'll be really really good. So you can put whatever you like on. So what we're going to do is first I'm going to right click in the heroes folder and show an explorer so we can have a look at everything in there. So when it pops up, we'll go into the heroes. And um, what should we do first? We'll go to accessories, then cape. And what we'll do is we'll co copy one of these. So we'll say we'll just copy the black one. Yep. And we'll rename it to black skull cape. There we go. So open it in your design editor, whatever you want, Photoshop, GIMP, um, Paint.net paint if you want. So I'm going to use Photoshop simply because I have it and as you see right there I have a skull and crossbones picture so hence the name skull. So there's the skull I will provide that in the description for anyone who wants it. I went with this one because it's more cartoony-ish kind of thing and our models aren't the best so we're going to have not the best skull and crossbones. Makes sense. So I'll just copy that and I'll paste it on. I don't actually know how well this is going to work. I've not done this yet. So we'll drag it up. Ooh. Um, the ball at height is messed up. Paste it back so it's even. There we go. So I'll just paste it there for now. If this messes up horrendously, I will fix the texture before I distribute it. But yeah. So there's our skull and crossbones. All we do now is save. Save it as a JPEG. I don't know why, you just have to. Black school cape. Okay, so that's how you edit a cape texture, literally, you open it up, change it. So, let's open Unity, and it's imported. Now, let's make a new material for it, and let's hope that it worked. And let's hope it does work, shall we say. So we equip it, and for, where's the main character? Oh, yeah, go on. We'll assign it to this one here. Let's see if it works. Ooh, that was so close. So, as you can see, we need to make it smaller and move it opposite, vertical. So if we go here, back into Photoshop, make it smaller, and put it there, and then make everything vertical. Transform, vertical, put it there. Save, and JPEG. Yep, test two. Ooh, that's horrible. Move it back up. So, as you can see, it's all just about experimenting to make it. The civilian clothes textures will be easier because I've had more experience with them. Um, the clothes ones I've only ever done, well, you know, colours, so... So it is all about just timing. That'll do. So we have a weird skull and crossbones texture on it now. So as you can see it's not that hard to do. So we've done that so we can cross these off. Um, that will be in the description as well. And um, Before I upload any of these hero machines I'll be uploading everything after these tutorials. So you'll be getting all the materials, the skull and crossbones and the civilian one. So what we're going to do is go back to our cape folder which is this. I don't need that diamonds folder. And we'll go to the star headband. We may as well change it while we're here. So we'll copy the red glass and we'll call it blue gra glass. So we'll make it blue diamond y thing so you get different ones. So as you can see, the red texture which looks really awesome. We're going to go to image, adjustments, variations. If you don't have this, you could use a tint or something. So this is not going to be good because I can't scale it. But what I'm going to do is just add more blue, make it lighter, more blue, which will make it purple. That's not very good. In fact, we'll have a purple one. Actually, I know it is going blue. Just keep bashing it with blue, make it lighter. That'll do. Doesn't look. Actually, that's quite good. So save that. I'm just doing quick, simple changes here. So it's not going to be the best thing in the whole world like I said but hey anything I do isn't the best thing in the whole world so so let's see he's not got one but who's got the star headband? You're joking 
Oh, we're going to go on one. Oh, that's the main character. No, in, haha. Right. So we've got that. We'll turn the light off so we can see. As you can see, you can select it normally. If you go into the star headband, materials, um, duplicate the red glass, call it blue glass. See, once you do the thing once, it's really, really simple. It's, it's still purple. We should really rename it to purple because it is. We'll see what it looks like first. So, star one, we get the blue glass and assign it. Yeah, that's purple. That's renamed to purple. Purple. Remember, the more time you spend on it, ooh, the more time you spend on it, the better it will be. But because this is educational, we don't have to do super amazing. And again, this one. There we go. So we now have a purple headband. So the things are really easy to change. You just edit the materials, so it's not the hardest thing. Um, go back to this, and we'll edit a full-on skin now, which is not hard, just more time consuming. So the original one I have fixed, so you have now got the original texture. Um, oh, I did fix there. So that's the original texture, completely nude, but like nothing's showing. Um, yeah, so we're not going to edit that one, we're going to edit a custom one, and I'm just going to change the colour. So the civilian, this will be civilian 2. Um, we need to rename all the materials to civilian 2 and the last one to 3, else it won't work. Hey YouTube, so I'm back and that quick speed up, I hopefully that worked right. If it did, you will see me now talking. But um, so yes, yeah, so we're going to open up the civilian O2 texture, paste it in here. So as you can see, it's all in one layer, which is sad because I shouldn't have exported it to a JPEG. But what we can do is, well, we can change things. So let's see, what should we change? I think we'll add a custom thing on the T-shirt here, saying something. Let's just go in crossbones. We'll use that actually. So if we drag this on, yeah, that'll be good. Why not? Paste that there. Should we have it on the back as well or just the front? Nah, I'm just the back for a moment. We'll give him a tattoo. Why not? We'll while we're here. I don't know what should we put. Um I know. Go into text tool, paste on his arm. Oh, and it loads. There we go. YouTube is awesome. And he's not having a bright green tattoo because that just looks weird. I'll select black and make it smaller. Obviously not that small because you can't see it. Let's increase the size of it. 18, a bit more, 30, that'll do. Paste it on his forearm there. So every time we now look at his forearm it will say YouTube is awesome. So this can be a good guy with skulls on him. Yeah. Should give him some hairy feet. Uh, yeah. We'll have a look. So add a new layer and I'm just gonna do the opacity down. Obviously I, I am not a professional at this, please don't like think I'm the best. There we go. But so we'll just turn the opacity down and just do a couple of clicks. In fact we need to change brush to that one. So it looks like he's going to have dirty feet, which is, well, he's walking around in his feet with no shoes on, so it's pretty much expected. Let's do his hands as well while we're here. There we go. Um, should we change the colour of his trousers or something? No, I think we need to change his top, obviously, because it'll look weird otherwise. Um, best way to do this, i will just say a layer again with opacity. So let's have a look. What colour shall we do? Blue? We ain't got a blue one, we'll do a blue one. The reason I'm turning the opacity down is because then when you draw on it, you can see over the top of it. If I select this and click on the background, I, that's pretty much it. So we can. Oops, there. 
basically I've got the most weirdest t-shirt ever but it'll do so he's now got a blue t-shirt we need to get rid of that black in the middle or else it's going to mess up Now hopefully when we clamp it all down, it'll look good. We don't want a blue crossbone, so we'll set that to the top to go a white one. YouTube is awesome, um, that'll do. So we'll save, and hopefully the opacity won't mess up, because if it does, this is all rubbish. Save and save. Okay. Let's go and have a look at it. So I'll open up a new thing. Importing. So that's done, let's go and have a look. Um, next tutorial, I really don't have any clue what we'll be doing, but well, we've got to find something, obviously. Yes, it didn't do it. That's going to look awesome. So, which one was it? So, if the blue one's our main character, we'll assign it to this one. This one's very... What's the name? Um, very Scully. Yeah. Ooh, nearly there. And assign it again. So, YouTube is awesome on his arm, dirty hands and feet, skull on his head. I think that looks pretty cool. So, yeah, so, he's now going to the top. So, as you can see, it is really, really cool and easy to change. Obviously, I'm going to keep it like that because it just looks so wacky and weird. It just looks cool. YouTube is awesome. Everybody knows it. So, last one, we'll do his face. In fact, we'll do his eyes. So, we'll click both of them because, obviously, he needs some different eyes. The best way to do the eyes is to, we don't need that no more, is to basically go in and do another layer, select his eye, select his eye, and in this one we will colour it with the opacity down. Hmm. We'll do it white and then weirdly black kind of thing. So it's got palish brown eyes which could turn the opacity up a little bit so he's got whitish eyes and then we can select in the middle of it and back up here we can change that to red so he could be a robot there we go so as you can see it looks so weird and it's going to look very weird in unity but what we can do is if we copy this save this one the civilian to right eye yep and then we go to the left one and paste it in. We can just let, like move it down and assign it. I'm not going to keep it white like the Japanese flag, white and red because it looks a bit weird. Like for an eye, not the flag. The flag's awesome, but so it'll be a paste to 43. There. So we save this one as left. Yep. That's it. And now we can go back in and add it to it. This character is looking so cool. I don't know why it looks so bad but so cool at the same time. So we'll go to the left eye, click and the right eye. Right, let's have a look. So the right eye is this one for our character. Oh no, that would have messed everything up. So is it the body? Yep. Civilian left eye and civilian right eye. Obviously if you want to laugh you can put it on the wrong way so if you put the left on the right one he, like, he's got no eye but yeah so there we go so he's got demon red eyes now you can't see it from far away but when you get up close so that's how to change textures on it as you, as you can see it is the easiest thing to do I know I keep saying it's easy hard easy hard but yeah so we now have gone from normal to a cool random t-shirt with a tattoo with helmet and we've changed it to purple headband uh, yeah, so it's really simple to do. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Toop.